praise God. Lord, we thank you tonight for your presence, your power that we invite here, your glory fill this place. Lord, and touch your people, touch their hearts. I pray that you release the spirit of wisdom, revelation, and the knowledge of you. We break every discord, rift, division, barrier, strife, and discord between people. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we cast you out, Satan. Thank you, Lord of everyone's life that's here tonight, their family, their circumstance. We take complete and total authority over you. We command you to go and get out of their houses, out of their families. Hallelujah. Cast all of our cares upon you. Thank you, Jesus. We cast our entire life upon you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We look to you for wisdom and knowledge, strength, power, of who we are and what we have in you. And we give you the glory and the praise tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Everybody said? Amen. And amen. Thank you, Jesus. Come in, Jay. Thank you, Jesus. Just feel the Spirit of God and the anointing here tonight. Good to have you with us. I'm glad that you are here with us, Jay. So just pray a prayer over everybody and maybe share something. I told you I came to you at the, at the at the seminar that you were at or that you feel there's something that you have, you know, to share with people. We're going to do that for a little bit here tonight. Amen. Amen. It's been a, a wonderful conference over the weekend and the Holy Spirit was just moving all over the place. Uh, people were just going to purchase a book in the bookstore and just slain on the, in the spirit all over the floor. Oh, how when the that. power of God shows yeah. up, you know, sometimes we don't even need hands laid on us. It's Amen. just there was a weight of the glory in the atmosphere that it was actually a struggle to, to stand. Amen. Sometimes it's just best to just surrender to the weight of his eternal glory and presence and just receive what's being imparted Amen. in that moment. Um, and it was just a time to receive. And that there's a time to be receptive and to receive. And there's also a time to pour out. And then to know and to be able to discern the difference of when we are to be receiving. Well, we're always receiving, but a season of receiving receiving in the Lord and a season of pouring out. And it's just, it was a refreshing. Um, the only way that I could picture it is like a waterfall, how it's just continuously cleansing itself and the waters below, but it continues to just keep pouring out and pouring out and pouring out and refreshing that water that lays at the bottom. And it's just this beautiful, beautiful experience in, in Christ. Um, so, you know, we're seated in heavenly places, and we're in the earth, but we are seated in heavenly places in Him. So, we've come to bring, peace came to bring heaven to earth, so the heaven that's living inside of us wants to pour out all over, every, and spill out everywhere that we go. So, it's important that we know when to receive our filling, and keep filled, and not just walk out, and then the rest of the week happens, and then come back depleted, but to come in, the house filled and ready to pour out. So that's our responsibility as stewards of the Holy Spirit, being filled with the Holy Spirit, to steward it in such a way that we don't become depleted because we are um, responsible to keep our, our temple um, filled. Because Jesus paid the price for us to live in abundance, spiritually, um, solely, in every way. Know, as our soul prospers, so we just flow in that, and that whatever He has for us, I'm just believing that He has great things for us all this year, mm-hmm. and that it's going to be a supernatural year um, of miracles, of signs, mm-hmm. of wonders, mm-hmm. and that yeah. it's going to require a holy boldness, and it's just going to be so overwhelmingly powerful 
over us that it, it's we cannot contain it and that there's a holy boldness that's going to just shut and break those chains any chains of limitations that are going on right now in our personal lives any chains of restrictions and um, demonic lim limitations are being broken and lifted off this season and that's why we've been through the trials and the, the tribulations this season it's to the all of the preparation for the Spirit of God to rise up and raise up a standard against all these things so that we'll be able to overpower the situation by His presence for the greater that is coming. The Amen. latter rain Amen. is here. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The glory of the latter house is greater than the glory of the former. And we read all the miracles, signs, and wonders in the book of Acts and the other books in the Bible and, and if you know even greater work shall we do so it's a super important season to not allow the distractions to to take hold of our mind and our mentality and our mindset and <coughs> our bodies and to just keep uh, plowing through Amen. Um, this is the season of harvest Amen. You know? it's ripe if we look around all over the place it's hungry souls when we walk out this door everywhere that we go it's ripe and um, they you know, may go home at night and be crying out upon their beds, you know, show me the truth. And if we're um, not careful, we'll be distracted and just go about our daily lives like everybody else. But each and every single day that we get out of bed, how many souls pass through our eye gates as we're just going to the store and going to the supermarket and going to the gas station and going wherever we have to go. To, so just to remain in that selfless mentality that um, I have a responsibility to uh, preach the gospel to every living creature, Amen. and that includes, you know, souls as the Lord leads that are passing by us. Amen. We're all on our way Amen. to your eternal kingdom. Amen. So we're the kingdom of light, so we're going to expose the light and help others to get to the kingdom of light and transfer it from one kingdom to another kingdom. With the power that's being um, driven into us through this season at whatever it is we're going through. Amen. For his Hallelujah. glory. Amen. <laughs> For his glory. Amen. 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 Jesus. So somebody here that's been ha having some sort of pain in your right hand. Yep. Rest your right hand. And somebody else that's been having some kind of pain and pressure on your head. Somebody else with your teeth and your jaw. If there's any people with that, just come right out of your seat right now. I'm going to have Sister Jenny pray over you. Just stand up, come up, get ready to receive. Come on up here, Lord. What is it with you? Your right hand? What happened? You have what? Carpal tunnel? Alright, we're going to get rid of that tonight, right? Yeah. Jenny, I'm putting this all on you tonight. <laughs> We just thank you, Father, for a fresh baptism of fire. Anything that's found its way into this mind, we just command you to be loose from Satan's grip in the name of Jesus. Be loose and set free once and for all in Jesus' mighty name. From the crown of our head to the soles of our feet, Lord, like an electric bolt of electricity from heaven's portal, flow through this vessel, never to return again. Child of the Most High, you are sealed, saved, set free, healed, and delivered. We claim you over. You've been claimed already for the kingdom of heaven is near. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your anointing and mighty power moving in this place and any spirit of infirmity that's come in through an open door. Um, you shall never return again. It is finished. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, loose her in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that's dwelling in these hands, they are meant for praise. They are meant for praising the Lord. So Satan, we just command you to yes. loose your grip yes. from this vessel in the name yes. of Jesus. We command the blessing of the Almighty to flow through this body from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Receive 
Holy Spirit, I pray that you would pour out, pour out. And in the night, you're singing songs over her. She's praising even in the night, and she doesn't even realize it, but that you're singing a new song over her, a new rhythm of heaven's eternal glory singing over her and loosen all these things in her body that have been tightening up and causing pain and just every pain in this body just from the crown of her head to the yes. soles of her feet. Yes. Pain yes. come out in the name of Jesus. Yes. Satan, lose her. Yes. She's not yours. She's a child of the Most yes. High. Yes. In yes. Jesus' yes. name, be yes. sealed. Be set free. You, you are sealed. You are set free. Yes. You are delivered. Yes. We break yes. the word that you've come Thank into Jesus. agreement with this sickness. In Jesus' yes. name, you were healed. And from here on out, that's what we shall speak, is that we were already healed. We yes, come Lord. out of agreement yes. with any diagnosis, yes, anything Lord. that's been plaguing her mind, Hallelujah. anything that's been plaguing her body, and anything that's been plaguing her soul. Yes. And we just command the fire of the Holy Spirit yes. to yes, just Lord. take hold over her and just consume her, all-consuming yes, fire. Thank you, Jesus. In yes. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Holy Spirit, blow. Breathe, Lord, breathe. Breathe, Lord, breathe. In Jesus' name, breathe, Father. Breathe all throughout her. Yes, Lord. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. that's in um, this area right here. We just come against any indigestion in the name of Jesus. Any acid reflex. Um, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you, Lord, for a complete and total restoration of her pH levels, of every hormone level, of all of the levels in her body. Just come in body, we command you to come into alignment with God's word right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we thank you, Father God, that she's fearfully and wonderfully made. So whatever's been going on in this area, let it be completely healed. Any infirmity, you're not welcome any longer. You're exposed and come out in Jesus' name. Banish back to the pit, and there you remain. Praise Jesus. but of power, of love, and a sound mind. And we just sing a sound mind over her in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of fear, we command you to loose your grip from this vessel in the name of Jesus. Loose. Be loosed. Be loosed. Be loosed. Be loosed. Now, in the name of Jesus. Come out. Hallelujah. Come out in the name of Jesus. Any unholy unions that are going on in her life Thank of demonic um, entanglement Jesus. be broken by the blood of Thank Jesus you, Christ. Yes. By the blood of Jesus Christ. And any un ungodly yes. unions that are trying to creep their way into her life and um, 
The witchcraft spirits you're exposed have no fear. Just hold your peace and come out and be broken by the power of the shed blood of the cross at the cross of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let it be done once and for all tonight, Father God. We're not going to just keep running in a continual circle, but you did it once and for all, Father God. So I just pray for a complete restoration of her body, of her mind, of her soul, of her eating patterns, over the patterns of her life of confusions coming out right now, confusions being let go right now, and uncertainty, and any family division. In the name of Jesus Christ, and then I command a restoration according to the word of God. In Jesus' name, we plead the blood of Jesus yes. over you, and we just thank God for this deliverance, that there's more, there's much more to come, but as a blossoming flower, a of a field is ready to be thank you, Lord. blossom, that you being layered in the Lord and all of these forces that have been trying to pull you back from you know coming to not only the house of the Lord but between your relationship with the Lord let it be severed any other thing Lord not thank you Lord any other thing that only you know Lord any just change any cycles any addictions are broken now by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth come out in the name of Jesus a complete restoration, yes. and this is a transparent atmosphere, so yes. we're all just one family. She Amen. Doesn't feel any certain way, yes. but we're just comfortable in each other's presence, and we're Amen. here to lift one another Amen. up. Amen. We thank you, Lord, Hallelujah. and we've exposed the enemy's tactics, yes, and we thank you that whom the Son sets free Amen. is free Amen. indeed. Amen. And not to nullify anything that was done here tonight by our speech. We yield our tongues at all of us, and yes. we yield our speech Hallelujah. over to you, Father, yes. to keep our healing, to keep our deliverance, yes. and to keep yes. the yes. freedom you yes. yes. trusted us. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. 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 Fire. Wow. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. The kids. coming here, he's been seeking you, we just pray that you would preserve him from you know, people in his age group that um, are not following your path, that you would just put a protective force around him, Lord, in your most holy name, we just thank you, Lord, that you put a desire in his heart to seek you early, and you may Amen. be found, yes. we just thank you for his life, yes. we thank you yes. for his calling, and we just command that the calling the purpose and the plans and the destiny yes. that God has for this for this beautiful vessel of the Lord yes. shall come to pass. And anything that's trying to um, gain an entryway into that force field, it shall not prosper. And then we just come, we pray for the dispatch of angels with flaming swords to come out yes. and just to protect His pathway wherever yes. He goes. Yes. You give Him that territory in the school. Yes. You give Him that territory when He gets off the bus or wherever yes. He's going. And His classmates are just so amazed at the glory yes. of God that they just begin to question who He is because they see who He is in You, Lord. And we thank You that You called Him to preach, that You called Him. To set free and to set the captives yes, free and yes, to be bold about yes. his faith and to not shrink down yes. from his faith because of the generation that he's placed around, but to and stand out, yes. to stand out and to be happy that he's a child in Grafton, the most high, to sealed and delivered and set free. We thank you for his family yes, and Lord. that you would put a, a deeper hunger in his family to keep Jesus at the center and any family yes, disruption, disruptions that are happening, like yes, we just call forth a stillness in the name of Jesus yes, and a peace within his soul Thanks. and that he's just being healed right now of anything that he's went through yes, um, in his younger days, although he's young, just some things maybe when he was even younger than he is right now, but just keep him, preserve him and just keep him, his eyes fixed on you yes, until your second coming, Jesus. And yes, thank you. Yeah, and any bloodline curses, we uh, we just cancel your assignment and 
and um, yes. occultism right now um, come out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. The blood of Jesus Christ is against you, and anything yes. that's happened in the blood generation um, before his formation in his mother's womb, we just um, lay an axe at that root because it's been finished at the cross in Jesus' mighty name. And he will not go in that direction, but he will go in the direction of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he will stand in the gap for this next generation. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Actually, feels a whole lot better. <laughs> feels a whole lot better. I just want to hear this. What were you feeling when you came? I felt pressure there, tightness there. And tightness. I feel, yeah, it was a tightness and a little pressure. Mm -hmm. Um, it's loose. It's loose now. It feels it's loose. It feels really loose. Really loose. Yeah. And it was tight. Yeah. And it's it was tight painful. Yeah. I and didn't it's have. It's not like that anymore. No, it's not like that right now. Because nope. I think people should know what the Lord does. <laughs> At the moment she said it, it just loosened right up. I felt and a, a you loose. look like you're feeling a whole lot better. Uh, yeah. <laughs> when you came in here spiritually, mentally. Amen. Jesus. And the stomach, you called it right on the nose. I was having issues in my stomach. And I had been putting it off. I went to the doctor and um, they wanted me to come back for more testing, but I just didn't feel like doing it. So... <laughs> I never went back, and um, you called it right on, right on the nose. I was having these crazy like pains and like tightness every now and then, and I'm like, what the heck is going on with my stomach? And I know it was God because you didn't know anything about it. So yes, amen. <coughs> I know it's done. Amen. Amen. So the word of knowledge through Jenny. Amen. Called it right on about yep. stomach problems yep. that yep. you were going to be going to the doctor for. Is that right? Yeah. All right. I just want everybody to hear this. That is absolutely right. Faith, doctor, that God is moving. In. <coughs> Who else did we pray over? Yeah, now. You? Yeah. I had a headache, like a little tightness around my head. I don't know if you're going as you can see, we have kids coming here on Thursday night, and we need to do something about that. We need to pray that God will send someone to watch over the children yes. when they come, because you know we have a dilemma when they're up here and they're acting up, they're distracting people from things that are very important that God wants to do. Amen. I know in some churches they sit there and think it's cute to interact with the children while the Lord is speaking. And ministering to people, I, I don't think that's God's best, Amen. that people should be distracted. Uh, but they are children, and uh, we do need someone, a young person or whatever. Uh, so Lord, we just ask you and believe you by next yes. week that you're going to show us somebody and raise somebody up to watch the children downstairs on Thursday night. Yes. We claim it. We receive it, and we thank you for it, Lord. Amen. Amen? Amen. Now, it just shows you a little example of really how you should handle your issues in life. It's called... <laughs> it's called asking and receiving. <laughs> Jesus said, ask, and you shall, shall receive. receive. I think he meant what he said, Amen. and he said what he meant, and he's got one person here, at least anyway, that believes that what he said, he meant it, Amen. and I have found it Amen. to be true. Amen. Yes, did you have some? 
<laughs> you believe too? I know you do. I know that. I know. This, I know this others. I know this others. But uh, come on, shake it off tonight. Whatever you've been going through. <laughs> I can tell. I'm a pastor for a long time. People like under stuff when they come in here. But you need to come in the way Jenny comes in, Amen. and the way Rachel comes in. Amen. Victorious, happy, joyful, praising the Lord. You think they don't have problems? Mm. They got problems. They probably got more than some, some of you guys got. Amen. Right? But um, we thank God for the Lord using you tonight, Jenny. Amen. Amen. And, uh, Amen. Okay. Thank you, Jenny.